Assalamu alaikum guys, I hope you guys are well. Um, so right now we are in Heathrow Airport, me and my older sister and my little nephew. We're in Heathrow Airport to pick up my mom. This is an impromptu recording. I didn't know I was gonna record, so I haven't got my tripod. Guys, my arms hurt. Like, after getting used to using a tripod, now I can't even hold my phone up. Like, I'm being lazy. Like, oh my God. <laughs> God, I've got used to using the tripod now. I'm being lazy, I don't want to hold my phone up. So, guys, let me leave you guys so we can watch her come out. If not, we're gonna miss her. So, I'll speak to you guys later. Croissant and tea for baby. There she is, Mama Z. Mama Z. <laughs> Mama Z and Lando. There she is. Guys, look at her load. <laughs> the load my sister got her to carry. This is all my sister. Mama Z. <laughs> no, Grandma. Grandma. <laughs> oh, Mama Z. <laughs> Yeah, we got it. Yeah, we got it. Mama Z, Alan. Oh, my God, guys. So your girl just got back home. I left home, my sister picked me up around 5.40. 5.40 in the morning, my sister picked me up and it's currently 11.27. Even this one, I had to rush, I had to rush home because my husband has got an appointment and we've got contractors in the house working and we can't leave them here by themselves. Someone has to be here. But guys, your girl went empty handed and I came back with, a bag full of this is so heavy. Oh my god, this is what I came back with. <laughs> some of the stuff were my sister's, so I took some of her stuff, but I didn't. I was asked what I wanted, but I didn't know what I wanted, so I took some of my sister's stuff. But there's certain stuff that I did want, like this one. How, guys, how can my sister request for this? This is here. <laughs> my sister requested for this. I don't know. Oh my god, and this. And this, <laughs> and this one, obviously this one is hard to get. This one is for washing the dishes. It's better than the cushion ones, because the cushion ones, you have to change them like every few days, you have to change them. So this is really good. Yeah, and obviously I've got another one. So I'm gonna give this to my girl. My girl had you on a feast, so I'm gonna give her one. And then I've got, I've got this guys asantemo this is called asantemo i don't know if you guys can see this guys when you make braised rice with this amwamo braised rice aka amwamo you make amwamo with asantemo guys it's so amazing i don't know if you guys have tried it before but yeah asantemo this again was my sister's and i took one <laughs> i took one and of course if you guys remember my weekend, my Ramadan weekend vlog, I showed you guys that I bought one of the Danish uh, pancake maker. Guys, it's the contractors making noise to me. Sorry about the noise, the background noise. But I bought the Danish um, pancake make, uh, pan, but then it was so tiny, I had to return it. So I requested for this, of course. So Masa in the making, watch out for the Masa videos. So I requested for this guys. How cute is this? Like, this is not cast iron that I have to season. Guys, it's so stressful. It's so stressful using the cast iron. You have to season it. So I don't want the cast iron one because I don't have that energy and that strength to be seasoning cast iron. So I requested to get this one. And of course, I bought dresses from Shafki. Shafki. 
I bought a few dresses. I might do a whole video. This smells so good. Oh my god. It smells like an attar. It smells like they've got attar in here. Wow. It smells so good. I wonder what I wonder what perfume this is. Wow, it smells like a Sunna mask perfume that I have. This smells amazing, guys. I'm gonna probably gonna do a clothing haul and then wear all these stuff. And I've got another two piece. So this is a two piece, and I've got another two piece. So this is like a top and a a wrap skirt. And of course, my mom brought me. Um, she brought all three of us prayer hijab. She brought us prayer hijab. This is the one that I got. Yeah, and I bought this dress, guys. It's so beautiful. This dress. There was a white one, and then white and gold, and then there's the black and gold. So I showed it to my husband, and he said to choose the black and gold. So I went with the black and gold. Guys, look, that's what the front looks. And then this is what the back looks. So all these are bought from vendors in Ghana. You, you, you need to support your people, you know. So I bought these from vendors from Ghana. So this one is from Shafki. And this one, I believe her shop is called Star Girl. I don't know. On Snapchat, I discovered her on Snapchat. So I bought this of her. Also, I got these from Shafki as well. Again, I'll wear it in the clothing haul. I got these from Shafki as well. I got a parcel. I got a parcel. I think this is an abaya that I bought. On, again, on Snapchat. I'm trying to support people's business here. Um, but, so guys, I'd like to know. I'm sorry if you can hear me, guys. I'm so sorry if you can't hear me. So yeah, guys, I'd like to know how your Ramadan is going. If you guys have any goals, I'd like you guys to share it with me in the comment section. Let me know how your Ramadan is going. And also, guys, you can give me um, suggestions. What kind of videos you guys would like to see? She's got a little note here. She says, your support means everything to us. Dear Jamra, Thank you for your for supporting our small business. That's, it's, it's good to support small businesses, you know, guys. It's not all the time the money goes to big, big brands, you know. And this is a really lovely abaya as well. It's a two-piece, two yeah. Sorry, that's the hijab that fell. So it's like, um, oh my God, guys, this is so beautiful. Wow. And it's so neatly packaged as well. This is so nice, oh my God. I'm gonna wear it for you guys to see as well. This is so pretty. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, lovely. Just the way I want it. I don't want it to be dragging on the floor. That's that's one of my pet peeves, guys. I don't like it when you wear a dress and so sometimes you see me when my dress is too long, I just be holding it like this. That's the um, kimono. And this is the inner. Oh my God, guys, this is so beautiful. Like, I love it. And that's my favorite color as well. Blue is my favorite color. Guys, this is really nice. And guys, look at the scarf that came with it. This is not like your regular um, open a bias scarf. Like, this is actually like an actual chiffon scarf. Like, an actual full chiffon scarf, guys. Like, this is the first time I'm seeing this, like, having a really big, good size, good quality hijab that comes with your open abaya or uh, abayas. But most of the time, the abayas that come, it's got really small. But this is like an actual chiffon scarf. It feels, oh my God, no, I love this. Oh my God, like, I can do, like, a full hijab with this. Guys, I'm going to leave you guys here because I need to rest. I haven't had enough sleep. I need to sleep. 
so i'll see you guys a bit later so after having a good rest i decided to head into the kitchen to prepare some stew that will last us for the whole week because i was going to be busy with placement so i made some chicken stew to go into the fridge so we can use it at least even if i'm not home my husband can use it as well So you'd realise that for iftar, I don't usually prepare anything special because my husband prefers to take dates with tea or dates with milk and then pray maghrib and then after maghrib he'll have his dinner straight away and then usually for suhoor he will prefer to take anything that we're supposed to take for iftar which is maybe kuku with kusi or masa for suhoor. Assalamu alaikum guys. I hope you guys are doing well. So today um, is Thursday. Today is Thursday. I had placement. I couldn't check in in the morning because obviously all the rush to get to placement came in. It, so I'm working on TAU, um, Theatre Assessment Unit. And um, obviously you guys were so busy so I couldn't check in in the morning. I just finished my shift. I'm going home. Again, there isn't much to talk about today because your girl is going to be breaking her fast in the train so i decided to just check in for today and see what's going on so i'll see you guys when i get to the train station <laughs> guys how beautiful is this view as in that's wembley park that you see right there it's so beautiful yeah so i just got to the train station Garden in Jannah. I think the title is Garden in Jannah. I'm not sure, but that's what I'm listening to on podcast. I'm only listening to him and Mufti Menk on podcast, especially in the morning when I'm coming to placement because of the no uh, network underground thing. So I can't really do much on my phone. So I always start my podcast before I get to the train station. So by the time I get to the train station, it's already uh, fully connected and I can listen to it. So I'm going to leave you guys and then get uh, speak to you when I get home. Guys, I'm so tired. Like, I'm so sleepy. I haven't had enough sleep this past few days. Actually, since Ramadan started, I haven't had enough sleep. Because waking up early to do suhoor and then not having to go back to bed because i have to go to placement so i'm still sleepy from those past few days but guys i'm gonna be with you and i'll speak to you when i get home assalamu alaikum so guys today is saturday and it's about one o'clock yep it's about one o'clock and guys today i haven't really got a lot to do today so today what I've got to do is go to the post office that's what we're doing today we're going to the post office and then when we come back we're gonna clean the bathroom and then we're gonna hoover maybe I'm gonna show you guys what I'm cleaning the bathroom and then we're gonna hoover the floor and then what else are we be doing today so guys today I've got my um, my brother and his wife, they're going to come to visit. So they're going to come around iftar time. So I was hoping that maybe I'll be able to make some koko and masa. Because guys, I've been craving for masa. And if you see for my future, future days, 
future week, future day in the week. <laughs> Oh my god guys, I don't even know what I'm saying, but if you see, um, I had the Masa pan fryer brought to me from Ghana and I'm going to try and use it. Hopefully this doesn't fail on me because today is cold. I hope my Masa is going to rise. Guys, fingers crossed this works out. So that's all I've got going on. I don't even know what I'm going to cook for dinner, but... Inshallah, we're gonna figure it out. So that's what I've got on my agenda, and then um, yeah, let's go to the post office because guys, today is weekend. It's Saturday, so I'm sure the place is gonna be packed because this is when a lot of people get to go to the post office. Hopefully, I get to because I'm trying to return the um, Danish Danish um, pancake maker, the one that I bought to use to fry the masa, but then it was too small, so I'm gonna return that one. So that's what that's why I'm that's why we're going to the post office and then when we come back we're gonna start cleaning and then of course if third time. So hopefully today goes according to plan. If not, if I go and the post office is packed, so guys, I'm gonna to have to do a U-turn and then try another day, probably Monday, because Monday I'm not going to placement, inshallah. I'm going on Tuesday. So that's what we're doing today. And I'll see you when we're on the way to the post office. So guys, after my short trip to the post office became a flop, I decided to head back home and start cleaning the bathroom. So I thought, why not take you guys through my bathroom cleaning routine? Because I, I don't think I've ever done anything like this on the on this channel. So I decided to take you guys through this routine. Um, guys, I'm using this scrubber from Amazon. Guys, this scrubber, you can adjust it to any length you want. Guys, when I tell you this scrubber is life-changing. Like I discovered it for my sister. My older sister used it has been using it for ages so i was like let me just get one because this house this the tile is up to the ceiling and i usually can't reach guys i'm a short girl i usually can't reach so I, i've got one of the scrubber and to be honest it's been a life changing like now i even enjoy cleaning the bathroom now so i use that scrubber and then obviously i use toothbrush to get through the little corners that you know the gaps in between the tiles and then the you know the bathtubs i use toothbrush to clean that area because big brushes don't reach and then in the bathtub and at the sink i use the uh, big brushes to scrub those ones so that's what i was doing i don't even remember the name of the product guys this is my first cleaning video i don't remember the name of the products that i used and yeah that's what i was doing so usually my routine is I wash the bathtub. When I finish washing the bathtub, that's when I start washing the toilet. And then when I finish the toilet, then I get to the sink. Because sometimes I might need water to rinse up the toilet. So I just go to the sink and then so I can't wash my tub and then wash the sink, then wash the toilet. Because then I'm going to make the sink dirty. So that's the order that I go through with cleaning my bathroom. And then when I finish, I was using this flash mop. That's what I was using to scrub the floor. And then, of course, when I finished, I had to decorate. You can't forget the water. <laughs> that water. Every bathroom needs a water. If there's no bar, there's no water in your bathroom, like, are you even a Muslim? <laughs> you get a water. So that's my water straight from Ghana, guys. So that's my cleaning video. Next time, I'm going to do better, I promise. <laughs> Hi guys, so I just finished cleaning the bathroom, hoovering the house, now I'm back in the kitchen. Guys, I've been cracking my brain. I've been cracking my brain to figure out what to cook for dinner today. Guys, I have no idea. I don't know if this happens to everyone, but during Ramadan, you find it so hard to decide on what to cook. So guys, because I don't want to waste, waste much time, I've decided to just make light soup and eat it with rice. So that's what I'm going to do. I've got my goat meat. 
I've got my shaki. I've got all my ingredients. I don't need to go out to buy anything, so that's what I was gonna do. So guys, remember I mentioned I was gonna go to post office, yeah? Guys, I got there, you should have seen the queue. I was like, me, mm -mm, I can't join this queue. I did a U-turn. So I think I'm gonna try to go to the post office, inshallah, on Monday, because they don't open on Sunday. So yeah, that's what's up for now. I've got the laundry running. So guys, let me just get into it. I've got my marinade here. All I've got in here is uh, just onion, garlic, ginger, um, rose, fresh rosemary, and tomato paste. So after accidentally locking ourselves out of the house, I had to ruffle up something quick for it that as soon as we got access to the house. Asalaamu Alaikum, I hope you guys are doing well. So guys, today is Sunday and it's about 11 past 3. I haven't really got much to do. Um, all I've got doing right at the moment, I was doing some editing. Now I'm going to be watching some tafsirs on YouTube. Um, of course, read the Quran. And um, what else am I going to do? I haven't really got much to do. It's kind of like a rest day for me. Like a Sunday rest day before placement start again. So nothing much for me. Uh, so guys, I, if you guys are going to realise, like when I upload this video, you're going to realise that my sun Saturday was cut short. That was because... Yesterday I had visitors coming, they were coming in for iftar, like they were going to do iftar here. How can I go downstairs to open the door for them and your girl forgot to pick up her keys? So I went downstairs to open the door and then the door slammed. Guys, the door slammed and we got locked outside. Mind you, we've got a few minutes to iftar. <laughs> we got stuck outside. So it was my brother and his wife that came to visit. So he was gonna go to because I've for me I've got spare keys everywhere. So I gave my oldest sister spare keys and she's not really that far from me. So it will take like 20 minutes by driving to get to her place. So he was gonna go to her and get the key, but then we realized that my husband is gonna get here by around by eight o'clock, he's gonna get home. And this was this was like around 7:30. So we had we just had to stand outside and just chat and mind you i had no jacket on so you can imagine so around eight o'clock my husband came back so we ended up breaking our fast around eight when break ramadan iftar was like around i think it was around 7 40 ish yesterday so that was what happened yesterday my recording had to be cut short i couldn't keep recording because obviously we had visitors and stuff so my video for saturday is not gonna be making sense but i'm gonna try and make it make sense guys so today today i'm gonna try to make masa yesterday guys yesterday i tried to make masa it was a total fail like when i tell you total fail it was a total fail because it was cold first of all it was cold my masa didn't rise and then secondly I, i've got the masa maker from ghana and it's new so when you try to do it it sticks so it didn't work out but today i've tried to burn it out so i don't know if you guys you guys are going to realize that the color has changed from silver to kind of like goldish so what i've done is I've, i put some oil in the masa maker in the masa maker or i'll just say masa frying pan <laughs> i put some oil and i just left it on the fire to burn so guys when you come into my house there's smoke everywhere so it's turned into this goldish color so it's changed from silver to this goldish color so apparently that that is gonna also help to stop it from sticking so also it turned out that when you finish using it you don't wash it you just clean it with a uh, dry napkin clean it off you don't wash it if not it's gonna get rid of the the black stains which is the goldish color that you guys are going to see a little um, a la uh, later on 
it's gonna get rid of it and then it's gonna start sticking again so let's hope fingers crossed because guys we've been craving for masa let's hope fingers crossed inshallah this is gonna work out but yesterday's masa was a total fail but today i have a feeling that it's gonna rise because yesterday i didn't use a fast acting yeast if not it would have rise regardless of the cold but it didn't but today i made sure that i used all the yeast but it looked like it started it was starting to rise because it was bubbling after i finished blending it out it started to bubble so i'm guessing today we're gonna have some luck and for me burning the uh master frying pan it should not stick let's hope so so inshallah that's all i've got and then i don't even know what i'm gonna cook for dinner we're gonna work that one out as well so i think yeah so I'm going to leave you guys to get into whatever it is that I want to do. Guys, this place is so smoky. <laughs> yes, I'm going to leave you guys to get into it and I'll speak to you a bit later. Probably almost if third time I'll speak to you guys. Ready? Air fryer, the way is it when you can use air fryer too. So after my failed attempt to make masa yesterday, I decided to try again today. And guys, I was so happy with the results. That are turned away from the gates and he's going to be ahead of us all. The Jannah. And then there's the place that enters that gate of paradise. Except for the one who's distinct. So guys, I'm finally, finally done and I get to eat. So this is what I made after cracking my brain. I was finally able to come up with something. Hmm. Guys, let me leave you here so I can go and enjoy this food. I'm going to remember you guys while I'm eating this. But, I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Share this with all your family members, friends, everyone. Like, guys, send it to everyone. So I'll see you guys in the next Ramadan vlog. Bye.